Hi. Sorry, I like living. Hello, rocket. Rocket. Here's a rocket man. Rocket man, burning out his fuse out there alone. Well, let's ruin his day. Ooh, I think I crippled him. <laughs> you goofied him. And his friend is coming his way. Fun times. Nice, nice job. You goofied two of them. You're the one who loosened the lid on that pickle jar. When I was in Iraq, anytime someone on the base had a negligent discharge, which happened a lot. Um, really? We, yeah, because part of the procedure for clearing a weapon when you came into the base was to stick the muzzle of the weapon into a clearing barrel and then go through clearing procedures. Remove magazine, pull the charging handle back, inspect to make sure that the chamber is clear, let the bolt go forward, put the weapon on fire, pull the trigger. But there were a lot of people who were really stupid and forgot the remove magazine portion of weapon clearing. <laughs> so every single time someone had a negligent discharge, we, ooh, that looks like a trap. Oh God, that was way shorter of a timer than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, hey, cash on delivery. Every time someone had a negligent discharge, our whole company had to go through weapon clearing classes and learn how to clear a weapon again. Every single time. Every single time. Even though our, nobody in our company had had the negligent discharge. It was someone from a different company. Mm -hmm. So I got sick of having to walk out into the motor pool and show somebody that I knew how to clear a weapon. And one day they said, hey, come out into the motor pool. We've got a weapon clearing class to do. So I went to grab my M4 and sitting next to my M4 was, there's another booby trap right there. Come on, come on. All right, fine, we'll do this the EOD way. There we go. Sitting next to my M4 was a Russian RPG-7. So I went, you know what? We'll take this instead. <laughs> so I grabbed the RPG-7 and walked out into the motor pool with it. Stood in line and when I got up next in line, Sergeant went, all right, specialist, go ahead and, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> Said, it's, an R it's a Russian RPG-7. Fine, clear it, dumbass. And I said, ain't no rocket in it. <laughs> and he went, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, well, don't worry. I have this anti-material rifle. And how am I carrying 239 rounds of 50 BMG? Uh, how are you carrying 1,000 rounds of every gun caliber? So what do you hate most about Ulysses? That he won't shut up. I don't like the fact that he harasses orphanages. He harasses orphanages? Yeah. I was unaware of this, and now I don't like that either. He keeps on donating shoes, but the shoes are obviously in unwearable shape, and he doesn't even donate similar sizes. What a jerk! So he's like donating one size 10 and one size 4. No, he's been donating hundreds of shoes, but only left shoes, because he wants to watch the orphans wear... Left shoes on their right feet. What a jerk. I know, he's a real monster. That's, that's the primary reason we're down here. All the terrorism charges, they're just icing on the cake. You know what else I hate about Ulysses? Hmm. When he goes to the bank, the pen that's on the chain, he snaps the chain off and takes the pen with him. You think he's doing it just because he hates pens? Or because he hates banks? I think maybe because he hates banks, which I can agree with him on that one, but not the stealing of pens. Taking care of business every day. Taking care of business oh. in every single way. Yeah. Taking care of business. Make you pay. Taking care of business. Working overtime. Workout. <laughs> I find it hilarious that I can reload the entire gun faster than I can chamber a new round in this. Sit, like seriously, for real though. Look at. Look, watch. Watch this. Ready? Yeah. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, three, almost three seconds. But watch this. One, one thousand, two, uh oh. Without the jam. <laughs> Not barely two seconds. Mm hmm. I think this is it. Beyond that door lies Ulysses. He's waiting for us. Yeah, let's go ruin his life. But he is well known to be an expert in every form of combat. One of us might die. If it's me, I have a confession to make. That one time that I said that I played Strip Super Smash Brothers with a girl? Yeah. It was actually Strip PlayStation All-Stars. 
I am so disappointed in you. I, I, I can't even find words right now. I understand your disappointment. It was a great shame. I couldn't bear to say the, the truth, but I feel like you need to know. Why would anyone play that game? I don't know. She didn't even take off her bra, even though I clearly beat her. I'm... Man... I appreciate you making that confession, Mike. However, because I'm so ashamed, you do have to eat the vegetarian omelet MRE that I found. Wait, the vegetarian omelet's the bad one! That's, it, the, that's the one no one eats! Yeah! <laughs> that, that was the one that we literally had crates of because we would open the 24-pack and reject that one. Yes. And then we just had boxes of vegetable omelet left over. That's how ashamed I am right now! <laughs> I feel like this punishment I feel like this punishment is too cruel. It's cruel and unusual. Oh, uh, speaking of regrets, sorry I tried to shove a broom up your ass. It was a joke, but looking back on it, it was very juvenile. When did you try to do that? In high school. You got very mad at me because <laughs> obviously reasons. Oh my god, I completely forgot about that until right this second and I am incredibly disappointed in you. You remember now? Suddenly I'm very mad at you and I kind of hope you die in there. You had legitimately forgot. I legitimately forgot about you poking me in the butt with a broom. It was- I thought it was funny. It okay. wasn't funny! I understand my transgressions now, and once again, I'm sorry. Okay, come, you, come on. It definitely wasn't the gayest thing that's ever happened to you. You were in the army. That is entirely true. How many times were you pecker checked? Oh, like where someone pulls down your pants? No, when someone slaps you in the dick and says, pecker check. Is that not a thing you do in the army? Is that only Marines? I think that might only be Marines, because <laughs> Marines are pretty gay. <laughs> Well, well, well. If it isn't, Ulysses. The man who never shut up. Even in this place, NCR's shadow falls. Or is it just you, Courier, without the bear's corpse to weigh you down? Let's end this, Courier. You and I, here with the old world flag as witness. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Uh, uh, oh, okay, now he's- Okay, not... okay, now he's invincible. You mean invisible? He's, he's not invincible. He's invisible and invincible. He's indivisible with liberty and justice for all. It's time to fight fire with fire, and it's time to fight the American National Anthem with the Canadian National Anthem. Come on, oh, Canada, my home and native land. land. True patriot love, and all sons command. Da -da -dum -dum. With glowing hearts we see the light, the true north strong and free. I don't know the rest of the words. Oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh great, he's got a medical eyebot that's just zapping him with medical stuff this whole time. God keep a land, glorious and free. And if it's not too much trouble, can you please kill Ulysses? I'll end you and your history. Pretty big talk for an invisible guy on fire. Destroying my machines won't help you. This facility will make more- What is he doing right now? Is he trying to sneak past us? <gasps> I think he is, but he just keeps healing! Come all this <laughs> way to die alone. Look out, he's got a stick! He's coming at you Oh my god, he's got a stick! Shoot him! This is ridiculous that I can actually- I can shoot this gun faster by just changing ammo types. <laughs> the dead men of the new world. <laughs> Speedrun strat right there! <laughs> Grenade! Grenade! Oh! Grenade! Things have devolved into chaos now! Ibot fighting! Courier does not kill Courier! Ibot does not kill Ibot! No, the Ibots killed the Ibot! And now the Couriers ah. kill the Ibot! We just can't kill this guy! He keeps getting healed by his medical Ibot! His medical eyebot keeps getting healed by his repair eyebot, and his repair eyebot keeps on being repaired by him! It's a vicious cycle and I hate it! <laughs> Damn it! Someone's trying to figure out how to use console commands. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> ah! Zero, four, zero, zero, three, <laughs> e, four, three, enter. Dead! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got him. <laughs> All right, everything's blurry. Um, I can't see. Oh, okay, it's fixed. Thanks, God. Oh God, I was gonna take his duster, but it just stinks. Just smells like old weed. Where's this damn computer? 
Oh, shit, Mike, we might have a minor problem. It's already engaged in its countdown sequence, and the abort code has been completely overridden. We need a code-breaking robot. I don't think we have any of those. Wait, wait, I have an idea. I know how to cancel the launch. What's that? I know what the password is. Oh, it's all those zeros! It's all zeros! Robot! Robot, I already put the password in. Stop Oh, no, that robot's a traitor! It's a Legion robot! I didn't even know they had those. Die! Oh, thank God I shot it. We gotta run. We gotta run now before all these missiles explode. Well, they're in the process of doing that, so let's go! At the end of the struggle, only one courier remained in the heart of the divide. The true courier. Was it me? Courier 6. And 7. The courier tore the ancient flag of the Commonwealth from its cables and cast it over the corpse. Though whether done as a sign of respect or in anger for what had been endured to reach this moment, that is unknown. God, even in death he won't shut up. Interpretation is something best left to history. The evil Legion robot was sabotaged at the missile facility. The notorious do-gooders, Mike and Zack, stopped the robot from its evil deeds. As it lay there crumpled on the floor, it thought, I'll wait, shoot to Kaisar. And then exploded into a million tiny pieces. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time. Yeah, fuck Novak. And made his way back, navigating the treachery of the divide. The divide isn't my home. It said, war never changes. Also, I'm there. Men do. Through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, Larry Skull. Guess what we did? What can I do for you, young man? We killed Ulysses for you, so we'll take that massive fat payout now. Okay, here's your reward. Woo! Come back tomorrow and we'll have another. Shit don't ever change around here. <laughs> Wait a minute. 250 caps? Uh, we, I for the greatest threat to the Mojave since Caesar. I don't think you realize what we had to do to kill him. I'm taking this fan. This is mine now. <laughs> I'll see you nutmeats in hell. <laughs> <laughs> nutmeats? <laughs> Look at my missile. I got a missile. Look at my missile. It's a big missile. Oh, yeah. It's a penis. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a penis substitute. That's my missile. That's my big old missile. It's an... It makes me feel better about my tiny penis. Tiny, tiny penis. That's what I got. My name is Ulysses.